Hi, third grade. It's Mrs. McCarty again. Today we're going to be creating rectangles with the same area but different perimeter. This is standard MD8. It is April 23rd, 2020. A quick review of how we get these measurements. First, with area, to find the inside of a figure, we do length times width. For perimeter, to find the measurement of the outside, we need to add up all the sides together. Okay, so here we have rectangle 1, and it is 2 units wide and 8 units long. We want to create another rectangle that is the same area, but a different perimeter. So let's look at the steps of how we're going to do that. So number one, first of all, what is the given area that we're looking for? Number two, after we know the area we're looking for, we're going to write down the different multiplication equations that equal that area. Then number three, we're going to draw rectangles with those different equations that we know that equal that area. So make sure you know your math facts, it's super important. Then number four, determine the perimeter of each rectangle that equals the equation of the area that we're looking for. Okay, so let's go over each step separately. What is the given area? Well, on this rectangle, it is two units wide and eight units long. So we know length times width, which is eight times two, equals 16 square units. So then we're going to write down other different multiplication equations that equal 16. So we can start with our 1, which is 1 times 16 is going to be 16. 2 times 8 is also going to be 16. And then we have the double, 4 times 4, which also equals 16. So we just made three equations that all equal 16, and a little rainbow there. After we know all the equations, then we're going to draw the rectangles using those dimensions. So our first one is 1 times 6, so the width is 1, and the length is 16. Then we have our next rectangle, which is 2 times 8, which is 16, so we've drawn it right here. And then we have 4 times 4, so you can see I have 4 going down and 4 going across, which is also 16. So these all equal 16 square units. After we have made all our rectangles with the same area, then we can start calculating our perimeter. Well, rectangle 1 has 1 and 1 on each side, and then 16 and 16 on each side, and then to find perimeter, what do you do? You add it all up, which equals 34 units. They're not squared because it's not the area we're finding, it's the perimeter. Rectangle two, we have four on one side, it's rectangle, so it's equal on the other side, four on that side, and four on this side. We know 4 times 4, or 4 plus 4 plus 4, is going to equal 16. So that one has a perimeter of 16 units. Then the rectangle down below for our last equation is 2, and 2, 8, and 8. Add those all up together. You can do it in any order. I like to put each side together, but you don't have to, and it equals 20.
units for the perimeter. So the greatest perimeter, like Ms. Gear told you, is the numbers that were farthest apart. So if you remember, the 1 and the 16, when I drew the rainbow, were farthest apart. So they have the greater perimeter, which was 34 units. The smaller perimeter was when the two numbers that we used in our equation were closer together. Well, it was the four, it was a double. So 16 units was the smallest perimeter. That's it for today, third grade. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.